Whoa. Whoa, whoa. Good morning. Good morning. It's Saturday. 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 That was that is not a good theme song. I'm sorry. It's anyway, it's Saturday, it's collision time, and it was I have no words, guys. What a great show. What a great show. The first AEW show that I actually enjoyed. And I don't know if it's just because of the opening or in general, it was actually pretty damn good. The show started with Adam Copeland coming out and he was about to address everything that Christian Cage said in Dynamite. But Christian Cage came out and there was about to happen. The dialogue was about to happen. But after that, Brian Danielson came out because they were having a match later that night and Brian Danielson was like, if you want to have a good match, let's have it right here, right now, with everyone banned from the ringside. After that, Ricky Starks and Big Bill, the new tag team champs came out and they were like, I don't know why they were there actually. But everything happened so cool because the dialogues between Ricky and Edge, between Ricky and Brian Danielson, between Christian Cage and Brian Danielson, everything was so perfect, so good segment. And I'm saying this, the opening segment is just setting the tone for the whole show. After that, we had Samoa Joe versus Willie Mac. I don't know who is Willie Mac but he's getting a shot at the ROH TV Championship and of course he lost the end. After that we had a weird one, I didn't want to talk about this originally but CJ Perry had an interview segment in the back where she was saying I'm back in AEW, no she's not back but I'm in AEW because I want to help people chase gold, be great because I know what it's like to not be able to chase gold and only help the others and all of that stuff and I'm like you you never touched gold in your entire life and Rusev when you were managing him was never able to touch gold as well maybe the US championship but that was it that was it never never the big gold with all that being said Action Andrade Action whatever that kid name is came to her and was like I want to use your services I want to touch gold a few minutes later Miru came out and I was like, I'm gonna save my wife because she's cursed and she's chasing championship and all that stuff. And he just held action guy hostage. And that was a weird one. I'm gonna leave it here. That was a weird one. Another weird one that my expectations were very high for was Christopher Daniels versus Juice Robinson. I was having really high expectations about Juice Robinson. I don't know, probably because of last week or from Dynamite or because of his promos, but the match was meh. He's having so much hype for his cannonball, he, but at the same time, his finisher is so much better. But at the same time, uh, right now, he didn't click that good as other times. The match was good, don't get me wrong, but it didn't feel my expectations for some reason that were, for some reason they were high. I'm sorry, Juice. Next time. Next time, I'm gonna lower my expectations and I'm gonna say that you're great. After that, we had Kyle Fletcher versus Boulder. They are both from tag teams. And I finally understood why Cal Fletcher is alone because his tag team partner is injured and all of that stuff. And now I kind of understand it. I don't understand why he went through all of that Don Callis shtick. But the exciting part is after he won his match against Boulder, he challenged Kenny Omega one on one on Dynamite and he's gonna get it. And I'm so excited to see it. I'm so excited to see Kenny Omega match one on one, not in tag teams action and the new prospect, Kyle Fletcher, and I'm gonna see him finally, his full potential. I suspect that Kenny Omega is gonna obliterate him, but we're gonna see on Dynamite. After that, we have a little segment from the acclaim. For some reason, the rapper guy, I don't know his full name, uh, is trying to lure MJF and his teammates were giving him advices how to risk him. He did some weird risk to Renee. And at the same time, the former JAS came out and they were like, we challenge you for these trio titles. And I totally think they should win them. 
even though the former JAS are the former JAS and they're not established as a team really, I really like their energy of Daddy, Magic, Cool Hands, Daniel Garcia. I really like that Daniel Garcia's dance. I kind of like having problem just for the sake of the problem with the dancing. Please give them the titles to see what they're gonna be doing with them. Probably they're gonna take them to new heights, who knows. After that, as I said, Sky Blue pushed to the moon. Sky Blue versus Chris Statlander for the TBS Championship. It was a good match. I cannot complain, it was a good match. We all know that it was not Sky Blue's time, but it was a good match nonetheless. It would have been cool twist if she won, to be fair with you, because yeah, it would have been cool, but at the same time, she will be a champion like Chris Statlander. It just doesn't have any weight and it's a little bit of a meh championship reign. After that, squash match, Keith Lee versus Turbo Floyd. As I said, squash match, nothing too much. I remember <laughs> back when he was in WWE, WWE was trying to push him by giving him squash match after squash match after squash match. After that, when they sent him to the big leagues, uh, when he was facing someone decent, they just made him lost. And I suspect this is what's gonna happen now. I mean, it's not okay, but it is what it is. I guess this is the vision for Keith Lee. Squash matches, squash matches, squash matches, big matches, lose. Unfortunate. Unfortunate fate. Last but not least, the main event, Christian Cage versus Brand Danielson with Luchasaurus and Nick Wayne banned from the ring side, with BCC banned from the ring side, everyone banned from the ring side, one-on-one -on -one match, really technical match. I'm gonna be honest with you, I skipped it a little bit because I was watching it on demand. Nonetheless, it was a great match, I really enjoyed it, but Christian Cage retained I'm saying, but because he was about to lose when Ricky Starks and Big Bill came out and helped Christian Cage retain. After that, FTR came out to the ring, Nick Wayne, Luchasaurus came out to the ring, Adam Copeland came to the ring, and it was all good. Again, this brawl situation happened, but it was kind of understandable this time, but I kind of don't like it, but I kind of like it, I have mixed feelings. If I should have rated this show, it would have been, honestly, 8 out of 10. Good, solid show. The opening, great. The main event, great. Some of the mid-card matches, great. Some of the matches were mid to low but it has room for improvement and it has improved and i like it and i love it also fix the sound please because adam copeland's theme song is great is legendary but the audio is so awful that it doesn't feel that way whenever you're watching either collision dynamite or rampage whatever fix this thank you so much for watching and i'm gonna see you next time peace